Thanks, Ken. Uh, you know, really proud of our players. Uh, thought they responded in a great way. Uh, played with a lot of toughness. Have a lot of respect for North Texas. Really good basketball team. Uh, been the best defensive team in the country the last three years. And uh, they really make you work for everything you get. Uh, they present a lot of matchup problems on the perimeter with their skill level off the bounce and ability to shoot the three. Uh, but I thought our players really responded. Uh, came out and played incredibly hard. Uh, big point in the game, you know, when you've lost the way we lost the last couple games at the buzzer, we go down five in the second half. And I, and I thought really could have splintered there. And uh, with the leadership, you know, the Will Bakers and Derek Fountains and Imani Wilkinson's really had our team connected and found a way to win the game. Uh, so as I said, really proud of our players and I uh, look forward to the next opportunity on Sunday. Yeah, Will, um, obviously a game like that was something that you changed. What was that like for you to keep battling into a good one like this one? Uh, just trying to keep the guys uh, stay composed. You know, um, we faced that in the past couple of games, um, close, close battles and just trying to, um, you know, stay composed and keep fighting. Um, and I think our resiliency was, was there today. And part of that is because we went through that adversity and we know how to handle it. Uh, and, you know, I think we're just going to continue to get better and better. What, what do you see from uh, Derek, obviously, in particular, uh, just how impactful he was? Derek, Derek had an amazing game. You know, um, uh, we love it when he takes it to the, to the basket and he's in attack mode. So I think that's when, he, when he's at his best. And so just, um, you know, we're going to continue to encourage him to do that. You know, he can, uh, be a big impact on the game and like that. Coach, uh, defensively, obviously holding them to 32% shooting, what, what did you like about what y'all did on that end? Well, I thought our two-point defense was really good. I believe they were right around 25% inside the arc. Um, you know, and I, and I thought that was a credit to, to more discipline on ball defense. In the first half, uh, we were rotating uh, really for no reason. We were going way too early. I thought we were a lot more disciplined in the second half. And instead of giving up some of those open rhythm catch and shoot threes, they got in the first half. We were able to force some tougher twos. Obviously, we still got to clean up uh, the defensive rebounding on these long boards. Uh, and, and we'll get to work on that. But you know, whenever you hold a, a really good team to 7 to 31 from the floor and a half, you give yourself a chance to win. And it's a credit to our players' mindset there. I mean, offensively, obviously playing through the front court the way you were able to do. Um, just is that going to have to be the, the mindset going forward to try to obviously take advantage of the side? You know, have to be? Well, I thought Will was terrific in, in creating angles uh, and really setting up his post ups. Uh, and again, it takes everybody. I, I thought you know, guards really executed in getting the ball to him. And you mentioned Derek Fountain. Just a huge response from him to come out six and six from the floor, 14 and seven. Uh, was really aggressive at the basket, and, and I thought made some big defensive plays as well. Oh, Will, talk about your game tonight. Obviously, you had a big game. Um, what was it out there that you saw? Um, it felt like every time North Texas came with a big run or got up a couple points, it felt like you were the guy to go get that big bucket that kind of kept LSU in it. Yeah, I think the most important thing is uh, my teammates trust me, and they know that's one of my strengths. So, and for for me, my mindset was just to continue to attack, and uh, we took advantage of that. Matt, can you uh, talk about uh, Mike Williams and what he's meant to the team? Obviously, with Jalen Cook being out, um, what his role has been. Obviously, playing uh, more minutes than he probably anticipated this season. What has he meant to this team? Well, he's he's brought a lot of stability. He's a tough, relentless competitor. Uh, he hadn't put up any crazy numbers, uh, but one of the numbers I really like to look at is what your efficiency is when you're on the floor for our team, both offensively and defensively. And we've been really good when he's on the floor. He applies great pressure defensively. Uh, he's learning to get the ball where it needs to go on the offensive end. I uh, thought he had a really tough drive there and finish and got to the free throw line, made some big free throws for us. Uh, but he's, he's just a winner. He's a winner. And so he'll keep getting better uh, as, as he gets more and more experience. But I'm really excited about him, really uh, pleased with his impact on our team. Coach, for these last two games, um, obviously Dayton and North Texas, were they big for your guards to uh, get a better handle? I mean, facing two good defenses like that, just a kind of glimpse of what you can see. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you said it, two really good basketball teams. 
Uh, I, I thought we grew up some. Uh, you know, I thought you know, I got to mention him, Wani, too. I, th I thought he provided great leadership. <clears throat> Excuse me, great leadership. Uh, not just with his play on the floor, uh, but his voice uh, in the team meetings, in the locker room. Uh, just really proud of him, and I, I thought he came out and really gave us a huge lift. Hit a huge three in transition. He was aggressive. Uh, I thought that was important. So. Really like our group. It was, it was a good, good step forward for us to respond to to last night's tough loss, and uh, now we just got to stay focused on getting better and, and preparing for what we know will be another really good team on Sunday. And that's the beauty of these tournaments. You don't you don't get in easy games. Speaking to the tournament, um, what do you like about these uh, neutral site kind of uh, get your feet wet tournaments against caliber NCAA tournament caliber teams? Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, getting to play quad one, quad two games on the neutral floor. Uh, you saw the environment in the building last night. Uh, you know, it's just it's a lot of fun to get those type of opportunities. Uh, you find out a lot about your team. You know, I mean, as I told our group, we, we have a new group. And so you find out things, playing three games in four days. Uh, and so it gives you an opportunity to learn from it and keep getting better as we move forward. McKinney, not to radio, but good.